Visco. Hi everyone, I'm Anthony. So let's start the topic of today, eKit app. So for Huawei, uh, we have two software in order to manage the uh, uh, networking uh, products. So first is uh, Huawei eKit app, which is a mobile app. And secondly is the Huawei eKit SNC, which is a web version. So uh, for eKit app, you can download it if you are an Apple user, you can download it uh, from iOS. And if you are an Android user, you can actually download it uh, through the official website directly. And both eKit app and SNC are uh, cloud managed and uh, definitely it's a free license. So what can you do in eKit app is actually quite a lot of things, not just doing the management, configuration and all things, but you can actually do a lot of uh, pre-sales, in-sales and after-sales uh, services provided inside. So first is uh, pre-sales side. Uh, it's actually having an online mode inside where you can know about the uh, products and also solution introduction inside. So of course, later on, I will share uh, the EK app and I will guide you guys to about the whole EK app later. So beside the online mode, it also have a lot of marketing information inside where you can uh, conduct your marketing activity, uh, make your marketing plan inside and also having a learning zone as well in order for you to uh, learn more about networking and learn more about EK. And lastly, of course, it's the product selection and also configuration. And then for in-sales uh, side, it has a workspace for you in order to uh, manage your projects. And also, um, it has a lot of pre-sales and also post-sales tools to ease you in order for the management. And also, uh, it has uh, definitely a simplified de deployment. It has two types of deployment. And later on, I'm going to show you how to deploy and how to add devices. So one is the first one is a Wi-Fi deployment. And the second is the barcode and QR code scanning deployment. So later on, I will show this. And lastly is the after-sales services. So it has a lot of project management where you can hand over the project or join o &M, operation and, and maintenance, and also a lot of self-service too as well, like the uh, user setting and also the account setting as well. Yeah. So what is special about uh, Huawei eKit app is that it covers the full life cycle of the operation and it can reduce a lot on your project costing. Lah. So through the app, it actually can have a quick configuration. And also, uh, of course, the products are high quality as well. And also the Management inside is also high quality as well. So, and then for the efficiency, so with the EK app, you can actually do a lot of configuration and maintenance. So it actually can help you to achieve a lot of uh, efficient in uh, in terms of the installing until the uh, handover to your customers. So the main the main highlight of this EK app is actually free cloud management and it has a unified cloud management, Wi-Fi authentication and also roaming for big scale skin scenario. And also for <clears throat> unlike other uh, 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 brands, uh, how, what special about Huawei is that it can add 1,000 devices in total into the EK app. Of course, for recommendation, we will only recommend to add around 250, but maximum it can actually achieve up to 1,000 devices. So now I will share my uh, EK app uh, screen in order to tour you guys uh, throughout the EK app. Okay, so everyone can see my phone. So this is Android phone, so I download uh, the EK app directly through the uh, official website from uh, Huawei eKit. Lah. So this is the overview of the eKit app. So first, before um, I introduce everything inside, so just to let you guys know that uh, this is the account base, so definitely you need to log into account. For the country and region and language, you just select Malaysia, then uh, you can have the same interface with me. So this is the first thing. And then secondly, I will tour you guys uh, throughout the eKit app. So first, of course, is the home. So this is the uh, page where you can get a lot of information and uh, get the newest update of uh, Huawei eKit. And of course, today I will be just uh, briefly brief to the app. So you can actually get a lot of information like the documents, um, uh, the marketing materials, and also data sheet, and also guide through this app as well. So this is a um, product page. So of course, it has a SME network, mini FTTO, storage, and also Idea Hub. So for SME network, you can get all the uh, devices that we are uh, having in and get the information of it as well. For example, the uh, specification, the data sheet, and also even the guide, the guide to do the configuration and the guide to start up. So the third thing will be the workspace. So for workspace, uh, it is a, a kind of a marketing workspace that for you in order to create your marketing activities and your to-do list and also uh, an ending dashboard as well in order to uh, for your interaction between you and your uh, company activities. Uh. And then, of course, uh, for I will jump to the Me tab where you can actually configure all your settings uh, like the company management, uh, profile, favorite, download, and your attendance as well. A lot of things inside. 
So as you can see, uh, there's a lot of things that uh, you can do here, especially for the technical support part. First is the virtual experience. So this is actually a very good function for you in order to for you to showcase to a customer where you can create a virtual experience, virtual project in order to showcase without any device. And then for the quick start, it actually consists of a lot of quick start guide as well. Yeah. So uh, if you don't know how to set up, you don't know how to do the configuration, don't need to worry as well. You just uh, select the quick start and select the component that you want. And then you will have a quick start guide and also tutorial to you on how to set up one by a uh, step by step. And then as you can see, uh, for the project part, there's a few tab over there. First is my project. Second is join O and M. Third is to receive. And lastly is the handed over. So after I create the project, this is all the thing that you can see inside. Lah. So first of all, inside this project, I have uh, four devices, uh, one router, one switch, and two AP. So this is a homepage of the devices. As you can see over there, you can have the uh, uh, topology overview. And when you click the expand, you can actually have the uh, topology view of the whole networking system. And then over there, uh, you can have the wireless experience where it can indicate you how is the network connection. Is it excellent, good, or bad? And then you can have to know as well, under beside the wireless experience, you can know about uh, how many clients that is currently connected to this uh, network and to this Wi-Fi as well. And then you have can have the wireless rate as well. And then there's two types over here. One is network management, and then another one is Wi-Fi management, where I'm going to show you how to create a new Wi-Fi for your networking system and how to create VLAN for your networking system as well. So now I'm clicking into the router. So this is the router that I set up. So as you click in, you can now uh, first see two things. One is two button, one is restart, one is S Web login. So for the restart, you can actually remotely uh, restart the devices. If you feel that uh, the performance is a bit unstable, uh, you can actually remote restart the device so that uh, to reboot it. And then second is the web login. And you can actually um, go into the app uh, through the eKit where you can uh, create a tunnel. eKit will help you to create a tunnel in order to uh, directly go to the device uh, web management so that you can have more uh, fully fu fully managed of the whole device setting. And then for the monitoring, of course, you can create an alarm for it. So let's say if uh, you, you want to uh, create alarm for it for the situation where the device is dropping offline or it dropped under a few uh, speed and then got issue, it will send alarm notification to your uh, mobile so that you can be alert and then you can uh, go to manage. And of course, lastly, is the CPU usage, where you can know about the CPU use usage of this router. So for configuration part, as you can see, because this uh, AR720, it has seven LAN port and also two uh, WAN port. And then you can actually manage uh, each of the port uh, during the configuration setting over here. And then you just click in the setting, and then you can actually have uh, uh, set the VLAN for each port as well. And this is more or less the whole setting for the uh, router in EK app. So more or less, it will uh, just a basic setting for you in order to uh, make it successfully online and also do some basic configuration. So of course, for full, full configuration, you can also do the S-Web login in order to uh, go into the web and then uh, adjust the more deeper setting. So this is a switch where uh, a port POE switch where uh, I added it in the system as well. So also it have a restart button and also the S-Web login as well. And also the monitoring same, alarm and also usage. So configuration for switch also same. In order, you can also actually create trunk, create access for each of the port and then you can know about the status of for each of the port as well so as you can see the green color actually indicate the port that uh, i am using in order to create to the downlink which is the ap or the uplink which is the uh, gateway over here i have two ap also you can remote restart and also log in using the ek app and of course same like the alarm and also cpu usage so for the configuration you can actually do manual optimization where you can uh, set the setting of the bandwidth and also channel, transmit power, and so on. And lastly, because uh, this uh, ap 362 e uh, it have one interface, so you can also uh, control the interface and also know about the uh, status and rate of the interface. Bottom right corner is uh, uh, like Pokemon back over there. When you click in, it do actually have a lot of function for you in order to uh, enhance, to configure the whole system. So first is, of course, the AI troubleshooting, where you can, uh, you can one, using one click in order to troubleshoot the whole system. So the next one is IPTV. Uh, if, uh, just to let you guys know that IKEA actually support this IPTV function to the EK app as well. And also application management, where you can manage the uh, application restriction and also the assurance uh, through this uh, function as well. 
And the rest are the uh, common uh, configuration, which is a device uh, login password, configuration result, uh, and also DNS configuration over here. So for the wireless part, you can actually do a uh, mesh management as well. So uh, the device are supporting mesh and then you can do the, and also rooming at optimization as well for the AP. If let's say the AP is uh, uh, close to each other and you want to uh, do the optimization for rooming, you can actually do it over here. And then also uh, for the last one, which is the wireless blacklist and whitelist. So the one is actually you can create a whitelist and also blacklist for the whole system, a uh, whole internet. And then for the wire part is the three main function uh, for the uh, networking system, which is a load protection, DSTP snooping, and also flow control. These are the common function where you can turn on in order to enhance the whole uh, performance. And lastly is the uh, local. Uh, it also have a lot of uh, local tester over here, like AP diagnostic. You can diagnose about your AP and see how is the performance of the AP. And then antenna alignment, uh, Wi-Fi health check, roaming test. So these, uh, these are, and also the video test and speed test, uh, and also ping as well. So how to add a device? Actually the same. Uh, click the deployment and creation. And then there's actually two, two ways in order to uh, create a project. So after you click the deployment, yeah, as you can see, there's two ways. First way is scanning the QR code. Second way is Wi-Fi deployment. And then below there, there's the experience deployment and then virtual o &M experience. So for now, I will uh, do the entire process for the virtual. So after you click in, it's the same thing for adding a new device. After you click in, you will have a three-step guide to you in order to make sure you uh, have the proper connection. After that, you click done. It will show the Wi-Fi deployment where you can connect to the Wi-Fi of the AP after you set up the AP. So if you are doing scanning the QR code, you just for this step, you just scan the QR code. Lah. So since it is virtual one, so uh, it will skip the connection part. So actually the same. Uh, for the actual situation, after you connect the AP, you will see the uh, there's a new Wi-Fi which is called HW underscore manage underscore uh, four digit or even for uh, alphabet as well. So after uh, it show connection succeed, just click next. And then for here is for you to create a project. So of course you need a project in order to include all the device inside, right? So first is a project scenario. You can choose different scenario and then it will based on your scenario in order to do the optimization differently. And of course the project name, I'll just leave it as a demo. And then for the management, management Wi-Fi is the AP that you uh, connected. And then I will click start deployment. So after you click the start deployment, it will detect all the AP and also switches and router that is included in this network. Yeah, so after making sure all the all the numbers are correct, then you just click next. And then it will start uh, doing the uh, setup automatically. So for this step, you just leave it for there until uh, it run over, run through completely. Then you can actually, uh, it's actually done for the editing process. Yes. Afterward, you will receive this message where you already initialized everything. Then it is a part where you will jump to this page where I introduced just now. So next, uh, lastly, I will show the Wi-Fi management and also the network management. I will back to the uh, this, uh, setup project that in front of me. So I will use this demo in order to showcase. So, yeah. so after you create a uh, different Wi-Fi over here, you can actually have different Wi-Fi, for example, guest Wi-Fi, uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and also 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi over here. Just create a different Wi-Fi name and also uh, SSID and also different password. Then for network management, you can actually create different VLAN in order so that you can uh, uh, differentiate, isolate all the networking uh, subgroup yeah, for better management. Uh. So you can create VLAN over here. Just click the uh, plus button and then click create network. Yeah, you can have different VLAN ID and also the network name as well. And also the gateway and mask. Yeah, and then you can include all the uh, port and all devices that you want to uh, include within this VLAN uh environment then you just click next so for the access device you can actually select all the device to the topology or the device list okay. select device uh with their port which port you want to have the access to this vlan and also which device you want to uh, access to this vtv vlan as well so for now i'll skip and then after you select uh, you just click continue and then lastly it will be uh, done this vlan will be created so this is more or less a tour of the whole ek app of course uh, like i mentioned just now so if you want to have deeper uh, uh, configuration for each of the uh, uh, function, for example, for the uh, VLAN, for the mesh, we will have uh, more and more video in our YouTube 
uh, to guide you guys through the whole process. Visco.